Three A's, three B's, and three C's are placed in the nine spaces so that each row and column contain one of each letter. If A is placed in the upper left corner, how many arrangements are possible? So first we can start by having A as the placeholder. And since we already have an A for this diagram over here, we are given, we can start by placing A in each different row and column, like this in a diagonal order so that for each A there is only one A in each row and column. Then next we can start by putting the B's and C's in the remaining spots. And so this is going to be case number one over here. So for case one we're going to place B in the top middle cell. So we have A, B, and then A, A. And then for the B's there are going to be two ways to place them. So for the first time we're going to put B over here, B over here, and then we're going to shift B to the right, so if we go to the right, we're going to come over here. And then same thing for the rest of them, is a C, so we're going to shift them to the right, it's going to come over here. If we shift this one to the right, it's going to come in the middle. And then for case number two, we're going to do the exact same thing, starting with the A's, and then we're just going to replace the A's, and we're just going to replace the B's we have over here with the C's. So those are the two basic cases we have at first. And then for the third case, we're still going to start with the same setup with the three diagonal A since that's not going to change. And then for this time we have, since we put the B at the top middle row first, well now we're going to put the C in the top middle row. And then we're going to have a B in here. And then we shift B over here to here. Then we have C over here, C over here, and B over here. And then we're going to repeat this step again. So this is going to be case number four. Same setup with the A's. And we're going to do what we did like over here. We're just going to replace the C's with the B's. So if we take a look at this pattern over here, we have a C here, and we can think of it as shifting it one space to the right, we have it over here, shifting it one place to the right, we have it over here. So this is just a common orderly fashion to calculate the number of arrangements without guessing and checking. So if we look at over here, we have four cases, so the answer is C.